Hey, Isaiah here in our showroom at Lancaster County Marine, and we're in our canoe department today. We're gonna look at a brand new model introduced by Skeef in early April this year. This boat hasn't gotten attention because the COVID-19 breakout going on in the United States and really in the whole world going on. Um, so I thought we'd take a little time to look at this boat. Um, last year, we did a video on the Skeef Mallard Square Stern showing off that really lightweight design that they're building in that boat. And that boat, I gotta tell you, has been a total home run for us this year. We've done incredibly well with the Mallard. There is a brand new Mallard called the Mallard XL. We'll do a specific video on that coming up here shortly. But if you've been on our channel, you saw that we used uh, a Skeef rep Dave Haddon for a couple videos. Thank you, Dave, for being in those videos. And um, you can watch his video on that Mallard XL. Now we're gonna take this boat downstairs and take a closer look at it and kind of explain to you what is up with this new pack canoe called the Adirondack to hit the market. Let's take it down. So we've brought this Adirondack pack canoe down so you can take a closer look at it. We're gonna take a look at the features on this boat first, and then we're gonna give you kind of a history of how this boat was formed and why it was formed by Skeef. Let's look at the features on this boat. So what makes this Adirondack a really nice package is a beautiful web seat in the middle right there. If you look at the small details of this seat, you're gonna notice that there's a slight curvature to the webbing in the seat right there. So they've actually curved that wood at the seat base. Also, look at those wood hangers for the seat on either side. Really impressive that it's all one piece construction. They've got some beautiful shape to them too. That's just craftsmanship right there. And then basically this boat is designed with two thwarts for support. So you have one right behind your seat one up front. I know a little while ago I talked to Eskeef Canoes' um, David Haddon, and he has one of the Adirondack pack canoes up in Maine. He installed a couple tracks on the forward and rear thwarts. That way he could put some rod holders onto the boat, but still keep it nice and lightweight. So that was the cool idea I thought from him. But you notice looking at the cockpit of this boat, you have plenty of room in here to fit a small dog in the boat with you, well, even a larger dog if you chose to. Um, child could fit in the boat with a paddler if you're gonna take a quick spin around the lake. Construction of the gunnel trim, you're gonna see that they're using vinyl trim right there on the gunwales. Skeef does offer a lot of wood trim in their different models, so I'm sure if we wanted to get wood trim on one of these, we could definitely custom order that from them. The end caps feature handles right here, and that has a uh, wooden support built in underneath that actual hand grip right there on the plastic. So just again, giving more stiffness and strength when you grab the boat from the ends. They also give you end ropes standard on the Adirondack. So for strapping the boat down on the rooftop, that's a very easy place to go balance stern lines right there. Just wanna um, take a second now and then talk about construction of the material. So the Adirondack is primarily, there's really no rocker to the bottom. It's primarily a flat design. It has a small keel line down the middle and it's designed and built out of T4MEX, which is a very lightweight material. If you're unfamiliar with T4MEX, check the link below in our credits. You'll be able to click on that link. It's gonna take you to our website where we give a good description of how T4MEX was built and the history of what a skeef is doing there. But essentially, it's a replacement for Royal X, which was built and uh, back in 2013 in December, they had stopped producing Royal X. So T4MEX, really lightweight, strong. You can 
hit it against rocks can really take a good amount of abuse, which is nice. And it's been proven. This material's been out in the market a long time now. I say a long time, it's probably been about five years now. And guys really appreciate the material and how it holds up. Now, what's also nice about this pack canoe is that paddlers prefer it for a couple reasons. You notice the seat height. I'm gonna climb in here and just show you. I've taken my shoes off. I wanna show you where you're kind of sitting in here for height. So a couple things that are awesome about this is, number one, this seat curvature really fits the butt good. <laughs> it feels really good. So really nice and comfortable. The other things um, you could technically do on this boat, a skeef's not doing it standard, but you could do this. You could add foot brace kits into this boat to give you some pegs if you chose to. Not having them reduces the weight on this boat. So <clears throat> again, skeef trying to get the weight down. They didn't do it standard. But you could paddle this boat comfortably with a single blade canoe paddle, or you could use uh, a double blade kayak paddle anywhere from uh, about 240 to 260 centimeter to paddle this boat as well. So uh, the seat height being raised up higher is really nice. Now the flat bottom design of this makes this very similar in paddling characteristics to what the Old Town Pack Canoe was of the past. Very stable on the water. So really nice seat right there and design. And in fact, Let's talk about why Eskif introduced this boat. So the factors are this, canoeing is a, it's on a regress. There's less and less folks getting into canoeing every year. It's a more traditional sport. And so being that way, the canoe market and with the kayak market growing, the canoe market has steadily dropped over the past 10 to 15 years. We've seen some resurgence though out of the canoe department, which is really incredible. And it is due to the fact that companies are now offering a lot of solo models. So popular models started with really Old Town Pack and Discovery 119. Those two Old Town models were very popular in the past. Now, when the Old Town Pack, when they could no longer produce Roylex, that model was just erased from Old Town. So when that was erased, left a big hole for a lightweight pack canoe at 12 foot. That's what the Adirondack pack is. This is the replacement for the Old Town pack canoe of the past. So if you're interested in looking for an Old Town pack, no need to look for something used, weathered and beat up anymore. Look for a brand new Adirondack Esquif at our store, Lancaster County Marine. Uh, the other popular models that we've seen on the market. Old Town Next was introduced a number of years ago. That was introduced as kind of a, a hybrid at 29 inches wide. It's a canoe slash kayak is what we really call it. it what is it? It's, it's really a canoe hull design with kayak foot braces and a kayak fishing style seat in it. Really comfortable. But you sit down in that boat really deep, which is, is a different feeling, but the the thing with that boat is the next canoe weighs almost 60 pounds. It's made from a three layer poly. So it's still pretty, it's got some weight to it if you're gonna load it yourself. Then you've got the Discovery 119, like we said, still produced by Old Town. That's still around 50 pounds though, produced by three layer polyethylene. It's a shorter version, you know, than, than what the next is. And just recently, Old Town introduced a Sportsman line canoe. So they have the Discovery 119 Sportsman, which has some fishing and hunting features to it. That's kind of the history and what's been hot on the market. This boat is gonna be explosive on the market though. For more on Esquif, if you wanna learn about the company, they're built up in Frampton, Quebec, and uh, listed below in the credits, we do have a link to the Esquif story video that we filmed and produced um, with founder Jacques Chassis up at Esquif. So if you wanna learn about how they produce the canoes, how they've dealt with COVID-19 as a company, um, definitely search for the Esquif story on YouTube or hit that link in the bottom credits right there. The Esquif Adirondack right here, this pack canoe is, uh, to give you some dimensions, we didn't go over that, but it is 12 feet in length, 31 and a half inches wide with a depth of 13 inches. 
Um, we talked about the design and features, so I'll leave it at that. There are three color options available in this boat. This is the green right here. Skeef offers the sand color as well as the camouflage that they do. Um, so some really impressive color offerings there. The cool thing is, is that at Lancaster County Marine, we have these boats in stock and a pretty solid inventory of them. We've been getting shipments in from Esquif, and we appreciate um, the fact that Esquif really has been giving us good service and getting us boats during these times when people really need to get on the water. So thank you to those guys for doing that and the team up there at Esquif. And thank you for watching this video. If you have questions on the Adirondack Pack Canoe, feel free to give us a call at our store. Our phone number is 717-859-1121. And visit our website to learn more about our store. Our website is lcmboating.com. And right now during this pandemic, we are shipping product. Our store is open um, and we are able to help you to get you on the water in a safe manner. So feel free to contact our store and we'll help you out with getting you a boat.